have you considered the way you use your language when you're advocating for other animals? Now, something that I haven't been too keen on and I do uh, try and correct people as much as I can is the, for example, is the start of when people refer to animals, animals that aren't human, they refer to them as non-human animals. Now, my, uh, I find that problematic because when you say non-human animals, you're saying that humans are pretty much the benchmark so every other animal is measured against that so they're not a human animal this would be like me going to uh you know for for people that come to the country you know uh, visitors to the country foreigners and uh migrants and things like that saying oh you're just a non-australian person or you know me referring to to um people as uh you know you're a non-male person or you're a non-australian person or you're a non whatever you know you're a non-white person that you know it, it it's it's problematic from that from that aspect so ideally the, the best term to use is other animals so because that's what we're talking about because humans are animals so we're referring to other animals as well so with that now the other thing that uh, i've uh, you know mentioned about a number of times was and i'm reading an ipad here is the use of the word it to describe animals so you're saying i'll oh, look at you know for whatever it is and i'll read this this is by uh Claire Mann, she promoting herself as an effective communicator uh, with X amount of years experience in, in effective communication and all that. And I really disagree with, the, you know, the, the term effective communication because what is... Anyway, uh, having a bit of a rant about... She was having a bit of a rant about live export. Now, the, the phrase that caught me is that when you've seen an, an, a sentient animal leave Australia's shores and drown in its own excrement, you realise that not one animal should ever be on those boats. Now, this is the thing, and uh, by using the word it, and, you know, I really do not care and I'm not interested in your understanding of the word it, because this is the thing, is that when we're communicating things, it is up to us as the communicator to ensure that the person receiving that communication understands it the way that we've meant it. And this is the thing, is that if you're referring to an animal as an it, you're referring to that animal as property. There's no ifs, buts, or maybes about it. So it, the property, like my car's there. Oh, it's a red car. Oh, there's an animal there. Yep, it's a, it, you know, it's a kangaroo, or it's, a, you know, it's a male, or, or whatever. And in this, drowning in its own excrement. The other thing that, that she could have done, and you know, being the the uh, um, award-winning, what multi-talented author and whatever else that she says that she is is that it, you know she could have said you know uh, when you've seen a sentient animal leave Australia's shores and drown in their own excrement or drown in you know something like you know just avoid the word using it you know realize that no animal should ever be on those boats and the other thing too is that and not demonizing you know live export domestic export isn't as good either you know whilst the animals do not drown in their own excrement they are still there they're all still standing in it then and, and all that sort of stuff so and the other thing that i wanted to mention as well is that she publishes an online magazine called uh ethical futures conversations that matters and the current one she's talking about ethical sponsorship is your business going to the dogs and, and the picture of a greyhound this is relating back to the the banning of greyhound racing in new south wales now this is the other thing is that when you say something's gone to the dogs you're the actually i will have a look at that and get the actual oh, I, I don't need to get the dictionary man because people know what it means is that you know when you say something's gone to the dogs is that it has literally you know things have gone pear-shaped it's just you know gone there because dogs are uh portrayed or, or seem to be uh less than um what would you say less than than civilized uh what does gone to the dogs mean uh, boom 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 using English dot com idiom definition so there you go it's an idiom I did not know that according to this wonderful Australian internet uh, there you go if something has gone to the dogs it has gone badly wrong and lost all the good things it had so you know are we saying that 
you know, dogs are bad and they've lost all the goodness, so they've gone, you know, they're not a puppy, they're a dog now, so, you know, puppies are cute and cuddly and, and do all sorts of uh, oh, sweet things like that. So, you know, this is the other thing is that, you know, we shouldn't be using those terms. And, I, you know, I understand that she's trying to be clever by, uh, you know, using that as a, as a play on words uh, and things like that, though this is the thing. Claire Mann is promoting herself as an effective communicator and someone that is you know passionate about animal rights so why would you say that to start off with now uh you know it, it, there, there's so many other things that you, that you could use i mean why even reference gone to the dogs why not turn around and you know make some other other point that you're trying to make and uh you know we need to be wary of, of the language that we use Got saying something's gone to the dogs that was the definition there animals are in it that's what you say there you know uh, you can't kill two beds with one stone. That's something that you get frowned upon by saying, uh, you know. And there's all these other terms where we need to think about. We need to be conscious and mindful and aware of of the words that we use and the implication that they have on animals and on the way that these animals are viewed. Now, uh, there's a few other ones I I really can't <laughs> find where I scribbled them down in my. Uh, purple notebook of uh, of um, musings and rantings and all that sort of stuff. So so this is the thing, you know, be mindful of, of what you do. And remember that as communicators, we're the ones that are responsible for ensuring that our communication is understood by the person. So if we want to remove the property status of other animals, we shouldn't be referring to animals as an it. Same thing, if we want to avoid speciesism and be uh, against speciesist terms and uh, equal consideration for other animals is that we shouldn't be you referring to animals as non-human we should be referring to them as other animals yes they're not a human animal though that's not the thing is that when you combine all the animals in the world compared to the number of humans i mean at, at what ratio do are we outnumbered by the other animals in the world and all that sort of stuff so you know, that's my thoughts on that let me know what you think below thumbs up thumbs down subscribe comments and all that sort of good stuff so wrapping it up here um thanks for watching and remember don't fear the vegan police we're here to help